Boys, today we're going to be going over the fastest way to end up getting XP in MLB The Show 23. So, it's usually the same thing every year, and it hasn't really changed that much this year from the last couple years. But there's a couple of things that really can help you this year on getting these collections done and getting this program done. That is going to be the fastest way to go about it. And it is a little bit different this year because there's just not any of the extra like incentives like there were in kind of the other inning programs, programs of the past. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is obviously the only way to get XP for Season 1 this year so far is gameplay XP. So there's no like showdown like there used to be. There's no collection that you can end up doing. So it's not pay to win. It's just straight up grind. And so we're going to be talking about the fastest, easy way to end up grinding this whole thing. There's no like conquest or kind of shortcuts to end up getting XP in the program. This is going to be the fastest way to kind of do it. Now, gameplay XP in MLB The Show 23, it, it carries on to anything. So it can be anything from playing in Diamond Dynasty to road to the show, to play now, and that's going to be kind of our method today. And this is something I've done the past couple years because this is just the most easy method and the easiest thing to end up doing because it takes zero brain power and you're going to be able to end up getting 30 to 40,000 XP per hour, which you might say isn't that great, but whenever you're thinking about it and whenever I show you the method, you guys are going to really fall in love with it. And this has been the way that I have been XP grinding for the last couple years. So what you're going to do whenever you get to this main screen is you're going to press on create. You're going to go to roster control and you're going to press create a player. So we're going to be creating our own player here. As far as like names and stuff, you can name them whatever you want. Nothing. This doesn't really matter. All you want to know is that he's going to be a starting pitcher and he's going to throw with whatever hand you want. You're going to want to go to motions and sounds. You're going to want to go to animations, pitching style, page 26. And this year I've been doing Sergio Romo. It's because it's a little fast and I can't find there are no days, but Sergio Romo's works just as fast. You want to make sure that it's a quick motion that throws out of the stretch. Now, as soon as you go out of that, you're going to back all the way out. You're going to go to attributes and you're going to go to pitching and you're going to want to make sure that all of these are max. So you're going to turn these sliders all the way up. So stamina, pitching clutch, all of these matter this year. Um, a lot more than they did last year, so you can't just kind of do stamina and hits per nine and be fine. So you're going to have to do these sliders. You're going to have to turn them all the way up. But you're creating an absolute amazing pitcher that's a dog and is completely maxed out in all of his stats. So what's going to be so good about this method is that you're going to be pitching against double-A teams and single-A teams, and you're going to be getting a lot of strikeouts, and you're going to be able to turn it on the easiest difficulty, and you're going to be getting tons of XP per strikeout so it's going to be really really good as far as pitches go and all of this if you don't want to max all this out it's all right uh, i would just max out a couple of the pitches um because velocity control are pretty important break isn't really gonna ha i guess it'll kind of help with strikeouts so you might as well do it usually we're just doing fastballs in this tutorial so you're not gonna have to worry about too much so you don't have to add like a third pitch or anything so don't don't worry about that too much just kind of know what you've leveled up and that'll work for you all right, and so once you've done that, you just press back and you back all the way out and you make sure that you finish the player and you press free agent pool and export player. So my face cam is blocking that a little bit. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it It's Brady XP method just for the video. I want to create a new save from that player where he's going to load. So you can see that it makes a big pop up about your rosters changing. And so all you're going to have to do here is after you end up creating your player, is you're going to press on roster control and I always do the New York Yankees because it makes sense. You're going to press on manage roster or import player. You're going to add a pitcher. I usually go towards Garrett Cole and I press import pitcher and you got it's Brady XP video. So you press on that and it ends up loading your Joe random. That's your new absolute stud. This is your guy. He's a 99 overall in the MLB and what you're going to end up doing there now that it's loaded you can, you can press save roster. I do this usually, but it's just save custom roster. That way it's faster, easier. So you can just kind of save that for later. But it's not necessarily something that's required. But you'll just have to redo that over and over again if you don't end up putting it in as a roster. Then you're going to end up going down to exhibition. And you're going to want to turn the other team to a double A team that's not that good. So with a bad record. Uh, usually I just find one that doesn't look amazing. 53 and 83, the Rumble Ponies. 
will play them and you want to make sure that you are picking the team that you put your player on and in this case I put my player my Joe random on the Yankees so I'll press right there and you'll press right here now this is a really important part of it I don't really care what field you put on so this doesn't necessarily matter but you're gonna want to make sure that you have quick counts on you're gonna want to make sure it's nine innings and that's basically it. You just want to make sure that the quick counts are on because that's going to help you get through each at bat faster and faster. So I'll press on that. Then you're going to press on your Joe random. And this is very important. It's RT for me. It might be R2 for you, depending on what you're playing on. If it's switch, it's, I think it's ZR, but you're going to want to toggle a player lock on your pitcher. So I toggled a player lock right there and I am only going to be using my pitcher. And so we're going to end up doing this. And then there's going to be a couple of settings that we're going to change in game that are going to help us to make this go even faster. About 30,000 XP per game you, or per hour you do this. So you're going to want to make sure that presentation is going to be on fast play. That way it goes as fast as possible. And then you're going to want to change your gameplay settings and go to pitching. I think it's general. I think it's pitching right here. Um, pitching difficulty, it doesn't really matter. Um, usually I do like... Hall of Fame and Hall of Fame usually works for me. Some people do Legend, and you can load rosters to where you're facing zero overalls, but I haven't seen many rosters like that yet until someone creates one. So I might make an update video in about a week whenever this is a little bit better, but I've just been doing Hall of Fame versus these, uh, these cards, and you're going to end up being fine doing Hall of Fame. You can do it lower. You can do it higher. I've been messing with it a little bit this year, but the XP distribution's about the same either way. So that's why I usually do Hall of Fame, just because I feel like it's the happy medium between them. Whenever you go to Control, just press RB, and what I would change it to to make this as easy as possible is you change it to the classic pitching interface. And this is why I love this XP method so much, is because I can just sit and relax, watch Netflix, watch baseball whenever baseball starts coming on in about a week. And you can kind of just chill and get strikeouts and kind of hang out while you are facing a roster of zero overall players or really low overall players, whether or not they are double A or you load a roster. Either way, it ends up working out. But you're going to get the most XP by striking people out. So you want to strike as many people out as possible. And that's going to be kind of the best way to go about XP this year. But it's a really good method just because you're able to... Quick counts makes it go a lot faster, so each inning goes by quick. On top of that, you can watch Netflix and chill and do whatever you want with this. It takes literally zero brain power. So I love putting this out every single year for people that don't necessarily know about it because it's just something that's really easy. You know, each game, you can get games as quickly as five and a half and six minutes long, depending on how much you are cruising. And if you're getting about six, six minute games you're getting about 3,000 XP per game that's going to end up coming out to 30,000 XP per hour and it's it's really nice it, like it's really nice um so I love doing this I love grinding this and this is definitely my favorite XP method every single year it's just it's super easy to get punchies against these guys and it's one of those things not a lot of people know about and it's definitely better this year because there is no conquest or showdown to get XP this year uh, so this is going to be something that as soon as I start kind of getting some of those grinds done, uh, like the WBC cards and stuff like that, and I'm just kind of grinding for the program and those team affinity guys, I'm definitely going to be going through through the XP grind this way just because it's going to be it's going to be quicker and it's going to be really easy and that's going to be kind of the hardest grind. You can see that the season is really, really long this season. There's a lot of really ton, like a really good amount of awesome rewards towards the end of it that you're going to want to get. You're not just going to want to get some of these bosses. You're going to want to get all the way to the end, especially early game when we don't have all the collections done. This is going to be a great way to get stubs. So this is kind of the way that I'm going about it. You can see that I'm starting to really rack up the strikeouts here against these double A guys. It's not that hard. And I just got about a 300 XP inning, which is pretty much the best you can get. But there are certain like little ways to make this go even faster. I just I haven't found the rosters yet. So if you find the roster and you're in the comment section of this video of zero overall rosters, let me know if it's up. I was searching for it last night and I couldn't find it. It is night one of the game, and I'm sure somebody will end up doing that in the community. There usually always is. But right now I'm just been using double A teams and it's been doing just fine. You might get a little bit less than thirty thousand per per hour but it's still really good and once you end up getting zero rosters up like you can see I'm still getting tons of strikeouts here and this is going really fast 
And I know a bunch of you guys are probably getting a little bit bored in the video, but we are going to be playing this out so I can show you how many XP, how much XP I get at the end of the video, so you guys know what to expect. But whenever double XP days start happening in about three weeks or so, they usually end up dropping a double XP weekend. If that ends up happening, this goes crazy. This goes absolutely crazy when everybody's crunching for double XP, and it just it just goes just as fast. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing this. It's way faster than playing just playing the game I know that I get a couple comments on these videos usually of people just saying like bro just play the game But it is faster than doing that and this is something that you can do when you're just chilling So that's why it definitely gets the nod over everything else All right boys, so I just got relieved for in the eighth inning boys So whenever that ends up happening, you're just gonna want to get press exit at the very end and you're gonna back out of the game completely. And whenever you back out of the game completely, you can see I got 1800 XP. So you're gonna get roughly 1800 to 2500. And this ended up taking about five minutes of gameplay. And whenever we end up getting the rosters done, it's gonna make this go even faster. You're gonna be getting an extra 300 to 400 XP. So let me know in the comment section if that has happened yet. But it's gonna make this even better, but this is a really good XP method. It's one of the easiest ones in the game. All right, boys, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like and sub button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day and peace.